All right. So I have my wonderful client here, Danilin. I'm sure everybody remembers Danilin. So what's up, Danilin? How are you? I'm good. How are you, coach? <laughs> I'm doing great. Okay. So we're going to do a, we're going to have a quick chat with Danilin. As everyone knows, Danilin was a breast cancer survivor. Um, she definitely had a remarkable story before I met her. And we're going to hear from her today, right? She done great things within my program. Uh, so I'm going to ask some questions. We're going to get started. How are you okay. feeling? Good? <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. So first question for you, D, is before you met Coach Adrian, what was your life like in terms of health and fitness? Oh, okay. So before I met Coach, my life was a mess, to be honest. <laughs> Um, as coach said, I, I was a breast cancer survivor, so it took a toll on me. And then like, um, before that I had a, a trainer in the gym, which I paid like $200 a month kind of ish. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really see the result. I'll be able to just lose five pounds and then gain it back again in like a week or two. Mm -hmm. So it was mm -hmm. hard for me. So I was like, I'm spending this much money. Is, is it really worth it? But mm -hmm. it did, mm -hmm. it wasn't really worth it because it's there's no big results that like you know that will inspire me to continue pushing through. Mm, 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 definitely, it's all about the results. Mm -hmm. So that was I remember some time back before um, I met you. How about that uh, gap period from your last trainer to when you started working with me? Oh, um, were you working my... out? Did you take a break? Oh, I took a break. Then pandemic happened. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you, I'll, um, I usually just stayed home <laughs> and I yeah, did a lot of baking and cooking, experimenting, cooking food. Mm -hmm. And that's how I gained so much weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. from, um, I was back then when I was like probably junior high, I was 115 pounds mm -hmm. and then probably around grade eight or nine, I gained I went to 140 pounds and that's that's what it took a really a toll on me because mm -hmm. even like friends and relatives will tell me, oh, you gained so much weight, you need to lose weight. Mm. So that's the <laughs> beginning of my journey of losing weight, but I really tried my best, but mm -hmm. the, the result is just not worth mm -hmm. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing that. And sometimes family members will say some things that are not too kind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, let's see. I'm curious to know, Danilin, how did we meet each other? And did you have any hesitations before working with me? So first, um, I remember Coach Adrian messaging me, hey, <laughs> are you do, like, do you work out? Stuff like that. <laughs> and then at first I was, I was like, um, he offered me uh, like the, the what he's doing to yep. other people like me mm -hmm. and other people at mm -hmm. first I was um I think he's a scammer because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know you I just knew you through Facebook I just saw yeah. like you mutual friends on your friends list so I'm like huh I yeah. think he's a scammer so I was, like, <laughs> I was hesitant to go through the program yeah, yeah and yeah. then coach had a, a week like seven day quarantine Got challenge challenge yeah and mm -hmm. then that's when I saw I think he is a really good coach and I saw mm -hmm. like um, results from his um, past client. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I guess he's not really a scammer. <laughs> at first I was hesitant because I didn't have a job. I was at mm -hmm. with my CERB. Mm -hmm. But then I said, if there's a saying in Filipino that there, if there's a will, there's a way. There's a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, I'm really willing to lose this weight now. I want to go back to the old Danilin that I used to love. Like, I still love this Danilin, but I want to be that Danilin back then where mm. she was confident in herself. She was proud who she was. Mm. So I was like, okay, even though it's a bit expensive, on the, it's, <laughs> an, it's on the expensive side, yeah. but I was mm -hmm. willing to sacrifice things that I can stop doing just to have that um, confidence back in myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And whenever you invest in yourself, like you mentioned, even back then when you had your old trainer, that was expensive too, right? Yeah. So just invest in yourself, especially uh, if you have the right coach, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is for everybody since she did mention about that. Like this is for everybody. Um, invest in yourself. You don't want to find the cheapest option. I'm sure we can all agree with yeah. that, Danilin. Like mm -hmm. I have my own mentor as well. And I'm always looking for someone that is valuable, 
and not cheap. And mm-hmm. I think that's really important, differentiating the difference, finding the person that can get the job done for us. And I think sometimes that's really- it says it's cheap, but you don't get the results. So it's not really worth the money. Exactly. So I'd rather spend like expensive things because mm-hmm. I know at the end it will be really worth it. Definitely. I definitely agree. Awesome. So let's get on to the results. Let's talk about how much weight in total did you lose? Might have asked again. Um, I started in June, July, I think, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. as till now, so I don't know how many months is that now. Probably yeah. six months already ish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I lost twenty two pounds with coach's help from exercising to the nutrition side. So yeah, I yeah, coach yeah. is really hand on in there with you. She mm-hmm. will, he will help you from the beginning to the end, and he will always motivates you to do to achieve your goals. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. Well said. So now that you lost weight, so congratulations. That's wonderful. You lost yeah. over 20 pounds. Um, and keep in mind, everyone, I'm going to step in like Danilyn was very busy when she was uh, in my program. She was working at, at one point, a couple of jobs. She was helping her mom with a job and she already had one as well. Mm-hmm. She relationship. Um, she had some times when she was really, really, really busy. And just to let everyone know, like Danilyn her lifestyle being super busy, she was still able to lose 22 pounds within uh, around half a year's time or so. So if Dadalyn can do that, working two jobs, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone definitely- Probably can. three or four jobs, coach. <laughs> yeah, she, she was working a lot. She had a lot of other stuff. She was running around helping people. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Uh, super busy. And Dadalyn, the one last thing about it, like she had weeks where she couldn't finish all the workouts, right? She had weeks where she was mm-hmm. working a couple of times, but- it's not about the intensity. It's about the consistency. And she mm-hmm. was consistent throughout. So that's wonderful. So I'm curious to know as we finish up your last couple of questions for you, Dee. I'm loving this so yeah, far. Yeah, for sure. No worries. How, yeah, how is your life different? What has changed ever since you're, what, like losing 22 pounds, how's your life different? What are people, you know, saying to you? How do you feel about yourself? Tell me, I'm curious okay. to hear. Like, um, for me, at first, I, I wasn't, I didn't believe in myself that I could, I would be able to do, to do this program, but like you helped me and your other clients, you made this group, amazing group page of amazing women that w- motivates and help each other. And mm. that helped me motivate for myself too. That helped me myself motivate that, you know, if they can do it, who are like, they are mostly older than me. Why can't I do it? Mm, I like that. So that, mm-hmm. that motivation went up and all I did, and I, I did really have a busy week before um, pre-quarantine, like before all this lockdown happened. Mm-hmm. I already have like two, three jobs also because I helped my um, my boyfriend's mom do some office cleaning. And then on the weekend, I have my own cleaning business and mm-hmm. I do skip the dishes. I do every inch just to get money just because of COVID took away my job, my permanent job. So I really had a busy uh, time. Mm-hmm. But then... Um, coach reminded me to make a schedule for yourself mm. and when I made that schedule it helped me realize how things can be so easy mm-hmm. and just maintain it just continue it and now I lost 22 pounds and I feel great about for myself because I never thought that I would be able to do it mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. and then my friends are noticing it my even my aunts who like who not like Keep telling who told me before like keep losing weight, keep losing weight, and now they notice it too. And they, I've seen myself how happy I am with my own body, how confident I am now. Before I was scared to even wear a swimsuit or like a fitted dress. Now I, I still have the, pictures. I still have a bulge in my tummy, in my mm-hmm. stomach side, but I'm confident now to show the curves of mm-hmm. from the hard work that I did. Exactly. Exactly. And the thing is, it's always a work in progress. So you did really wonderful for yourself, Dallin. It doesn't have to stop here. The tools you learn from coach, you can continue doing more, doing more, right? Um, and like Dallin mentioned, like she, now she feels confident and she's taking some nice photo shoots right in her bikini now at the ocean. I see that, Dee. I'm not very happy as a coach. Good for you. I'm very happy. So last question as we finish up here, Dallin. Any recommendations for anyone that sees my page, they're wondering if they should send me a message or speak with me and they feel like they're stuck right now, they're not able to lose weight. What is your advice for them? If they're kind of like on the fence right now, they really, really want to lose weight. They feel like they want to get my help, but they're not too sure. What would you say? What I would say to them is if you really want to like lose weight, 
first, I know you're going to be he hesitant, but don't be because it's a great investment for yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't think of it as a waste of money because you're spending it. Think of it as an investment for yourself because you yourself can only help yourself. Nobody can. Mm. There's nobody will help you, mm. from but from the beginning to the end, it's going to be yourself. I like that. And like, it, as I said before, if there's a will, there's a way. There's a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you really want to do it, you're going to find a way in order to get that money mm -hmm. and spend it for yourself. Rather than like, say, if you go to Starbucks every day, spending like $5 for like a grande cup, why mm -hmm. don't you invest it for yourself? Save it up until you get enough money and then spend uh -huh. it for yourself. Not just, don't go, Starbucks coffee is there every day. But yeah. if you don't start investing yourself, you might regret it at the end. Boom. Well said. <laughs> And it's done. All right, Tanelin, that was great at the very end. That was fire. Love that. That's so true. That's so true. Like, guys, if we actually do some calculations, like five dollars, five dollars, like on drinks that have a lot of calories, it really adds yeah. up. Um, you gotta invest in yourself. Self development one on one. Lynn with the talks, I love it. Lynn, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, I no think worries, you're gonna love you. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much. And you definitely went through a lot. And I, when I first met you, I remember. I remember we had that emotional talk. I remember you're upset and you're telling me everything. And uh, I'm glad that yeah. it's 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 uh, several months down the road. Uh, we're having this talk and you're down 22 pounds, like mm -hmm. 15, 20 percent of your body weight gone. You seem a lot happier. I'm I'm very happy for you, Daniel. honestly, okay. So thank, thank you, you so much for your, time. With your help too. So yeah. I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you so much. Okay. Sure. I'll talk thank to you, you later, so. Alan. You're welcome. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah.